Uh, it's a special one. Please welcome my mother. Met mama. <laughs> Do you remember how I was conceived? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought when I when I name you Funzo, you're gonna be very educated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Funzo is a fundo. Yeah. yeah. If you knew it was gonna have this major podcast that's like inspiring us young people and everyone around the world. Whew. I'm inspiring you, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, what's your mix? Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now that um, uh, 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 you're working for the podcast and I'm your boss, um, <laughs> how would you rate me as a boss? <laughs> hey. But what are your dreams and aspirations for, for him? I think he has got, he has achieved them already. Wow. Yeah, I'm running out of dreams here. Eh? I think he's got. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. it's finally happening, man. <laughs> The moment all the chillers have been waiting for. It is here. Ah, oh, that's a bad idea, man. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing it for the chillers because they've been crying and say they want to see me. Oh, gosh. They've been complaining. I Make guess. more, my yeah. <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing, Penduka. Yeah? Yeah. For the chillers. Anything for the chillers, right? She yeah. says she believes that um, this episode is going to hit a million. I'm like, come on, mom. First You're not even that famous. Come now, on. Now. Now. Well, I mean, even the the the, the Bantrizis are here and they've never they've never been interested in sitting in, through a podcast of ours. And they came. No, so you can man. imagine. I Everyone think they don't have transport watch. or something. <laughs> Oh, you're waiting for the Upa. <laughs> Who's Upa? Upa, Upa, I don't know if Who are fun? Now, and now, uh, what do you mean? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition, episode number 500! 500! Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a special one. Please welcome my mother. Met mama. <laughs> Why did you want to come here, man? Uh, because the chillers want to see me. That's mm? why I'm here. Because yeah. of the chillers. But you know, like, the, the internet is cruel. They're going to use you as a meme. And you know, I've got a lot of haters. They're going to come at you via you. Come at me via you. Mm. Now, ever since I started joining the, the... You remember when you told them that I'm your number one um, subscriber, like, what number one follower, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I, I developed a thick skin. It doesn't hurt me anymore. Because I read what they're saying. Sometimes they're saying mean things. Sometimes they're saying good things. So I filter through. I don't mind. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now you're here. It's your show. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> Never my show. It's just about me today. It's me, I'm a chiller today, me. dog. Yeah. It's just about me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The craziest thing where I want to start, yeah. A lot of people don't know this, but my mother wanted to abort me. <laughs> Damn, we're starting <laughs> from before the beginning. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah Why did you want to abort me, eh? Uh, I was young. Remember when I was 17? Tima, 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 tima. <laughs> I was 17, remember, when I fell pregnant, and wow. I was so scared of my dad because my dad is a very, very strict person. So I, I just couldn't imagine. I thought he's going to beat me because, you know, when we grow up, our parents used to beat us if we've done something wrong. So I was so scared of my dad, and I was also scared of a little bit of my mom. So I thought maybe I should just abort this. And then I, because I'm scared of pain, I decided, oh, no, what if he's my only child? Mm -hmm. What if um, I won't have kids again? I'm like, ah, no, there's no way I won't have kids again. Little did I know that you're going to be the only one. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> and yeah. then I, um, I, I just didn't know how to do it. But if it was this times where there's... Um, legal abortion, probably I would have done it and regret later. Mm -hmm. So I I, I, I decided to face uh, the music and I, I likely my mom saw me before I realized that I'm pregnant. And then um, once my mom said, my, once my mom said to me, 
are you pregnant? I, I just couldn't believe it. And then when I went to the doctor to find that I'm uh, to find out that I'm pregnant, then I decided, well, there's no way I can abort it anymore because now my mom knows. Mm. Mm. And it went very well. They didn't even yeah, shout. I mean, at look me. at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well. <laughs> so, so, I, so, so I told I'm him. A <laughs> so I told him one time when we were sitting in Park Town, and I'm like, "Do you know I wanted to abort you?" <laughs> <laughs> so what about the dad now? Are you telling his dad that you're having these thoughts of abortion? He'll be knowing it now. He never. Oh, knows. he didn't know. No, I never, never discussed it with him. So when you told my dad you're pregnant, what what, what did he say? Oh, he was very supportive. He, um, I was still doing. I was repeating grade twelve, so he was still a, a, a taxi owner at at uh, from Joburg to to town. I mean, from Venda to Joburg. So he waited for me on my route to school. So I met him there. We went to the doctor only to find that really I'm pregnant. So he was very supportive. Mm. Yeah, maybe if he wasn't supportive, I would have. Uh, um, followed through with the, with the abortion. So what did what did go wrong between you guys? Oh, I mean, I was young. You remember, I was seventeen, and I gave birth when I was eighteen. So how old was he? He was. You mean MacGyver's yes, dead? Yeah. He was. He's, he's. I think he's seven years older than me. Damn. In so twenties then. Yeah. So we grew apart, and then he was also still dating other women, and yeah. um, you know. You know the process in our culture whereby when you fall pregnant, they have to go to the other family, tell them so-and-so has impregnated our daughter. That process took place, and then he agreed that, yes, I'm the father. Do you remember how I was conceived? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want to hear this one. <laughs> oh, the glasses came out. Yeah, the glasses came out, you know. But hey, hey, let me put this on. Let me put my mind. I do, but I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Ah, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I do, but uh, what I remember is that he came to see me one night. No, we know he came, yeah. Yeah, he came. Hey, 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 I said, let's quickly do it in the car. Oh, <laughs> no wonder. No wonder, man. No wonder. That's what Mac can I do. Yeah, he's out of the quickie. Dude, who Mac? No wonder. I don't know if I want more to. No, we could have five gigs, man. And Mac will still tell the driver, yeah, I want to drive. Stop. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Hey, love driving, man. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to go back in the house very quickly before yeah. they came. To, otherwise, I would have gone and slept out in yeah, a hotel. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we used to go to hotels when wow. my mom is not there. Wow. Yeah. So because my mom was there, I had to do it very quickly. <laughs> 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 I'm <gonna do> it. <laughs> and it turned out to be a motor mouth. <laughs> It was poetry, it was written. <laughs> and then the name, because everyone's asking me the name MacGyver. I used to love um, Richard Dean Anderson. Um, I used to love that show MacGyver. I used to watch it. I, I've never, I never missed a, an episode. So I didn't even know, I didn't even know when I was pregnant that I'm going to have a boy or a girl. But I just said, if it's going to be a boy, I'm going to name him after, I'm, I'm going to name him MacGyver, looking at how MacGyver used to do things on that movie. So that's how it all started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I know that's all the questions I had. I so know. the family, <laughs> wow. So your your dad's family said you're going to be, they gave me two names. I had to choose one. So I choose Funzo. Oh, okay. What was uh, the other one? Furupero, which means, uh, I think it's hope. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I thought when I when I name you Funzo, you're gonna be very educated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Funzo is Fundo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. You know, well, you know when they say you, you you take after the name. So yeah. I'm like, okay, let me take for the maybe it's gonna be a professor or something. Ah uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you went as far as metric. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got some questions from the chillers. I'm sure there's so many, right? There's a lot. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's start with Actually, them. before, you, you normally I hear you, you call your mom Dangi. Yeah. What does Dangi? Is is that your name? or? Yes, it's my vendor name. He, he's made it short. It's Ndanganeni, the full one. Oh. Ndanganeni Juliet Mukwebo. So he likes calling me Ndangi, making it short. Oh. Yeah. And you never feel like how you must only call me mom. No, not by my name. no, no, no. I like it also. Yeah, she yeah. likes it. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, um, a question here is, um, how does it feel to have a son like Mac after like everything that um you've been through together? Hey, um, every parent just feel proud. That's all you can feel about a, ch- a child who has achieved a lot of things in life. You just feel proud. There's nothing more than that that you can feel. And of course, you always love the child. So if I say I love him more, maybe I will be lying. I will just say I feel very proud. And remember, this fame that is got now from the from the podcast, mm-hmm. it's just at another level. I got used to this about him when he was still at primary because he was doing crazy. So when I saw him on TV and people loved him, then I got used to him being famous and then... Th- this is just in another level whereby uh, I could still say the same thing. I'm still feeling proud about him. Wow. Wow. What were well, some of the symptoms during your pregnancy? Oh. I couldn't, I didn't eat brown bread. Hence, no, you don't, don't like, like bread, brown bread. bread. <laughs> I would eat brown bread and go to hospital and, and get hospitalized. Mm. So, hence, you don't like brown bread now. Um, uh, I didn't have any other ones. I, I liked a lot of chicken. Chicken grilled. Yeah, I and like boiled. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, you don't have to stick to, you know, <laughs> to the, the was, diet, the pregnancy diet. You know that. things that I like, but I know that brown bread will make me sick because yeah. I went to the hospital twice. Is, is that for real? You got two kids, ghost lady. Yeah. The symptoms. Is that like? Is that a real thing? No, yeah, it's it's those things that you during pregnancy. Obviously, you like something, you not like something, but it does not determine that the kid will be what, like that. What did forever. your kids not like? My kids currently. Mm. I don't know. No, no, I know what they don't like, but it was not, I don't link it to maybe I did not like that during my pregnancy. Mm. You understand? Mm. But um, I know my pregnancy, I normally would just like, um, first trimester, maheu. That was my thing. Maheu. Yeah, maheu. And then I just love chicken. But I still always prefer chicken over anything. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. But what I know is that Mikji doesn't love um, brown Brown bread right now. Yeah, do no, you? No, no, I don't. Like it does. Even it. the outside part of the bread, ne? You don't yeah. eat it. The crust. Yeah, there's a crust. The yeah. outside part. We make that scoop. You see what we make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost took a picture yesterday when we eating. I almost took a picture of your bread. That's how I know Mac is eating. For real, I got yes. Let's frame, let's deframe. Okay, uh, frame he never frame. used to do that, so it's a new thing. <laughs> he never used to do that. It's a new thing. <laughs> what other question you got? Yeah. Um, there was a, here, one, Mac once mentioned that uh, you, you, you were dating the president. So how, someone wants to know, how did you guys break up? Not, not Cyril. Not serious. Not serious. Not serious. The, the president. president. Oh, no. The, the president. president. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Many people called me after that episode. Who they wanted to know whether which president. I mean, it's not Cyril. Um, I I joined this this. I I listened to my my home radio Para Para FM. Yes. So they had those excursions that they were taking, like uh, uh group trips. Excursions. Hey, you came prepared. Eh? No. Nice. <laughs> Let me say group trips. <laughs> so I, I was in one of those trips. So at the airport, when we were going to Dubai in 2011, so that's where I met the president. He was not the president by then. I, I didn't even know him, how famous and how rich he was in Venda because I met him at the airport. They were the group that came from Venda. We were the group that came from Jobek. Oh. So we all met at the airport. So I was standing in front of him, on the queue to have our passport uh, stamped and all yeah. that. So then we started t- talking. So we dated then. <laughs> yeah, you got that one. 2011 is like, no, no. Yeah, 2011. That was 2011. We so he could have been my stepdad. 
I, same thing I said about doctor. You were already there. <laughs> I Dr. Already... Kumar. <laughs> like I told you during the time you talked about doctor. I held, I have already had you, so there was no way he's going to be your dad. So uh, Dr. Kumar, what happened there? You dated him as well? No, I didn't. I said it very clearly that we only went to the college together. So we used to sit outside together during lunch with other ladies oh. and with him, with other guys. So we would have lunch sitting together. Hey, Marandangangaru, you've been around, eh? Uh, of course! comfortable out here, man. How you supposed to react, man? I mean, I'm 56 now, so what do you, this is my life in the 56 years that I've lived. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> I heard the president bought you a car or wanted to buy you a car. Uh, no, he bought me a ring in, in India. Mm. Yeah, not a car. We talk about the car. Then he encouraged me to go for the Evoque, which we bought together. Yeah, yeah so that he, he didn't actually buy it for me. The ring was, what is the ring for? Oh, uh, I just, we went to a jewelry shop and I liked the ring and I asked him to buy it for me. And then he bought it and then he put it on my finger. When we got to the bus, it was like, I've engaged her. Nobody the, must talk to her now. <laughs> yeah, that was that. It was just fun. I remember when with the inventor at the gig. Yeah. And then I just found out because I didn't know they were da- they, they dated. So when we went back, remember when we went back to do the gig we did now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm with the president there. I'm like, hey, man, do you know uh, you once dated my mother? He's like, oh, it makes sense. You're my son. Then we started referring to him everywhere he goes, my son. <laughs> my son. <laughs> yeah, but the long distance thing came in between because he was in Venda, I was here in Jobek. So it didn't quite work out for us. It was and before the plane, because now he just flies. To no, back. no, that's way back. 2011. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's way back. So okay. you chose the taxi guy. You could have chosen the Rolls Royce guy. <laughs> but he was still in the picture then. Yeah, I chose the <laughs> then, man. So where was no way to found. Come on. Anyway. Um, what okay. else but he was not into taxis when I met him. He was working in Joburg at um, a building in in Small Street. I think it was F and B when I met him. Oh, my him. dad. Yes. Oh, then okay. he left the, the 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 corporate world and went to the taxi industry mm, and wow. became a boss there. Ooh. Mm. Even my dad called you and wanted love back. Ne? What's up? <laughs> What's going on with you? Why does I want to come back? <laughs> Ah, uh, with your dad, I can't, I can't go back to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he hurt me very badly because he married that my friend. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, let did say. Yeah, you did say. He married my I friend, <laughs> and and uh, it it it. Uh, no, I was very hurt. Mm. So your best friend. Yeah, she was one of my best friends because she knew about what is going on between me and him, and I used to confide in her in most things, <sighs> and then. The next thing, uh, his friend was proposing me, and then I'm like, no, I can't date you because you're my my, my son's uh, dad's friend. Mm. And then he said, you don't know what they're doing with your friend. That's the, that's how I knew that my friend is dating uh, uh, MacGyver's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got married for 36 years. Now they are divorced. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And what does she have to say for herself? I've never seen her since. You've never... Spoken to her about it, like we 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 that betrayal. We spoke the very day I heard about the relationship as friends. We met at a corner because, you know, in Soweto the houses are like one, two, three, four. So we her house was this side, our house was this side. So we met at the corner there, and then I told her I've heard about this. And what do you say? She said, "Yeah, it's true. It's, he wants me, so mm. I'll go for him." So that woman. was the last time we ever spoke. Uh, don't worry, woman. I've got a number. Let's call her and uh, find out what happened. For real? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I was I was so hurt and then the friendship just Of course, rightfully so. Stopped. Was that the hardest thing you ever went through? Like in yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I, I, I thought we were going to be together. You know, when you grow up, you're thinking because it's your baby daddy, you're going to be together, you're going to be a family. Mm. That's what I had in mind. So I was ahead very badly. But then I had to tell myself and say the best way to do this, because I was still going to school. So I said, mm. if I could pass, and that would be my first husband. 
Oh. Then nobody's going to take this one away from me. Mm. So I did that. I went to school and I already had him. So I had to think about him also and say to myself, if I don't make it at school, so it means I can't provide for my son the way I would like to provide for him. So I decided to focus on my, my learning. And then when I passed my, my, my teaching diploma in Soweto College, that's when I knew that, okay, now I can be free because now I can go and work for myself. Mm. And yeah. you never wanted to get married after that? Or do you still even, maybe even wish to get married? I, I, after that, it took me a while to feel like I can get married until I met my ex that married me for five. We, we were married for five years. Um, he died after we broke up. Um, Whoa. Uh, because he was abusive. The reason we, we broke up is because he, he, he was physically abusive. And I, I also wanted to, at some point I retaliated and it, it went bad. Mm. Yeah. Did you witness any of this? Yeah, there was a time uh, no, where no, he we fired were... shots at us. Yeah. Ah, no. Yeah, we were, in my, we were in the car and we yeah, were driving yeah, off the Corolla, in the yes. Corolla yeah, and yeah. then he stood in front of me and I'm like, if you don't move, I'm going to hit you. And then he, I came straight facing at him and then he was like, you could see I'm not going to stop. He was a cop. He was a cop. Yes. You could see I'm not going to oh. stop. And then he jumped the other side. And I was like, football, my guy, my mom, my <laughs> And had he not jumped, That's I was going to hit him. I was ready to hit, to, 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 to hit him because I was angry also. Yeah. So he was yeah. shooting at the car after you guys drove past. I had a shot. I don't know whether he shot the car, but I had a yeah, shot. I, I think it missed me by... You know, <laughs> I had a shot. But I don't know whether you, it's, it was him shooting at us or what, but I, I can't... I can't I can't confirm that one. But why? Then, why was he shooting? What had happened? Um, um, or something. We were fighting oh, about was girls. Young. He was also. I was. I was with him for some time, but then I caught him with another woman. So oh. we were fighting about that. Okay. Yeah. 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 So because he's a man, he's got a gun. He's a policeman, Jeez. and he started fighting with fighting with me physically, and I'm I'm also protecting myself, fighting with him. Although I'm not that strong, but yeah, I was. But you have to do what you. I have to do. I retaliated in my way because I even hurt him uh, on his. I I I think I tore his shirt and pants, something like that. The ones he was wearing. So I managed to run out of the, the the place we were staying. Then I called my son, and then we we left. Hey man, that was gonna mess with me. Like I would have anger issues or something. Mm. Like to see your mom, you know, in that position. No, no one wants to, fight. and you I feel just, like you just, wanna do something. I don't remember much of that night. No, he has yeah. forgotten. Okay, a that's lot good. Of that's good. That's yeah. He that's, has that's forgotten a lot of things. Yeah. So then the, the 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 you know when something like this happens, you go to the family members. They wanna sit down and try to uh, resolve this, and then you go back. You know, when you are blindsided by love, you always feel like, oh, this person is going to change because they always say, I'm so sorry, and you you believe them. Mm -hmm. Then you go it's back, tough. and then it, it didn't stop. It got worse and worse. Then I had to make a decision, but the only person that made me to make a decision to get out of that marriage was my son because the last fight we had, uh, he... Uh, uh, we were now staying in town at Mon uh, Anstey's, Anstey's building. Anstey's, Anstey's, mm -hmm. Anstey's building. Mm -hmm. So the last fight we had, um, in the morning, I dropped him at Fairways Primary School. So after school, uh, the, the, I think it was your class teacher that called me and said, MacGyver doesn't want to come back home. Oh, for real? Yes. Oh, and then, then I remember that this is too much now. It's getting to affect my son. I have to mm. get out of this. Oh. So then I decided, I made a decision on that Great day. Decision. And then I said, let's go. And then we packed our things and That's we go and cool. stay with my brother. And then I had my apartment, the one you call Park Town. Yeah, Park Town. <laughs> so yeah, we yeah. moved into the park because I had rented it out. Yeah. So I had to tell the tenants to give me one month to come back. And then in the meantime, I was staying at my brother's place. So we went to, we went to the Park Town apartment after a month. So that is how I left my marriage. Great decision. Mm. Yeah, because I, I could see it's, it's affecting him now. So I thought, yeah, I thought yeah, to myself, yeah. let me not think more about myself. Let <laughs> me think about him. But maybe I was just having fun in school. <laughs> nah, no, but the teacher seemed concerned Said, and worried. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that made me realize this is too much now. It's affecting you in a way. I mustn't just think about myself. Mm -hmm. So that's when I made a decision to get out of that that's marriage. Good. That's crazy, man. And it's crazy that it still happens to this day. Stories like this. Yeah, I, I don't blame women oh, who I always not come to go back. back home. <laughs> <laughs> because we are stuck with him at 3 a.m. in the morning. He's still 
Agora eu vou pegar o Hong Kong. Oh, you meant the GBV. Oh, sadly. Yeah. You see that women were going through this in their relationships. I don't blame them because I've been there. I, and I don't judge them because I know how it feels. You always have hope that this person is going to change. And because you are in love. Mm. And then you say, okay, let me give it the last chance. So it takes something from that person to just say, now it's enough. I'm going. Even if people are saying go, you won't go until it hits you. So that was how, that is how it hit me. The turning point, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other question here is, um, oh, what's the greatest the, gesture? Where, where oh, is it do going it? down? Yeah. This thing. So when was it? You must buy another one. Yeah, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. But also, you're a bit heavy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it goes down with everyone. You know, you're fine. It goes down with everyone. Man. So, what else? <laughs> What's the greatest gesture your dad, your son has done for you so far? And the other part is um, what, um, one adjective that describes you and your son's relationship. Oh, the adjective. You know, when you say adjective, it's something, it's an, I must look for the adjective now. <laughs> no, any word. The exact word. <laughs> word. Oh, okay. Oh, first, like, we are very free. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He, he can talk to me about anything. Mm. I can talk to him about some of the things, but like, <laughs> he can talk to me about anything. So we are very free. Mm. Yeah. More like best friends. Yeah. And the greatest gesture he's ever done for you? Ah, oh, there's a lot. Where do we start? No, no. Can, you <laughs> mom, can your mom answer? <laughs> She's She's mom. Mom. She's mama, not you. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, my God. Uh, Wasn't it? Uh, getting me an apartment. Mm. Oh, but that's recent. Wasn't wow. it when I bought you a car when I was from... Was oh, still yes. Crazy, yeah. my, my second car. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot that has happened. So that's why I forgot. So, oh. Hey, man, you were like in primary school. Yes, yeah, he was so, in primary so, so, school. So, so, it was yet crazy. So yeah. crazy. All wow. I wanted was uh, a PC because I'm a gamer. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted a PC. So and my a, first and salary, a music system. Yeah, and a music system. So my first salary, I bought a PC. And a music system. And then after that, I'm like, ah, you handle the finances. But I never saw the money until this day. No, you lie. Well, then you just saw a car one day. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> I'm a guy. <laughs> no, what happened was his first salary, he, he, he bought those things that he's, he's talking about. And my mom was still alive, you remember? She wa she wa my mom wanted him to give my boyfriend, who was also dead, and he played a very good role in his life, a Schumann. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my mom wanted him to give his real dad 2,000 rand from the earnings. And then MacGyver was like, nope, I'm not going to give my dad. I'll give uh, Schumann, Schumann, which was my boyfriend mm -hmm. then. Yeah. So after that, we saved some money. We didn't have a car because when crazy... Um, I booked him. We they phoned somebody who was our neighbor. I didn't have a phone. He didn't have a phone. So they phoned a guy called Matiba, who was MacGyver's friend from another building next to our building. So when they phoned that guy, that guy was very nice. He came to tell us people like this called. They want MacGyver, and then because I didn't have a car, he decided he will take MacGyver to. Uh, the, the rep stew, red pepper. Red pepper, yeah. Mm. Red pepper. He took MacGyver wow. there. So I didn't have a car. So he would always go and pick him up and drop him at home after the shoot. Then I realized I needed a car. So we saved money from his. You saved. <laughs> <laughs> we, we agreed. Remember, we agreed. You agreed that we should save. So I saved some he money. He He saved some money. My boyfriend gave me some money. We bought the Corolla because that was the one I liked yeah. then. Mm. So I bought it and then I surprised him one day when he finished shooting. I was standing there outside to come and pick him up at wow. Red Pepper Studios. Yeah. Then that's how we all started until now when I'm driving a, a, the, the Range Rover Evoque. Yeah. <laughs> And then when she, when she used to come with it at school, she'd have to pack that so no one sees it. Yeah. No! <laughs> it's no, it's a cream white Corolla. No, he's lying. It's a maroon one. Oh, maroon. The one that crashed. Remember the one that crashed? No, it's not him? that one. Oh, I started with snap. the rare will drive it. the blue one. Yeah. The, it, I started with the blue oh, one. Oh, yeah, the blue one is the one that made noise. The, so the I'm old in, one. I'm in fairways. It's like a semi-private school. Mm. And they're picking up all these kids in like Mercedes, BMW. Mm. And then you could hear my mom from there. No, you lie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it didn't make noise. Ah, no, it didn't make noise. Then from there, he went to Hyde Park. Then at Hyde Park, I was picking up with the Corolla, the, 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 the better one. And then from the Corolla, we bought... The Benz, I, the Benz that I, I drove. The, the Benz that he was driving was oh, like how for more than 10 years. Hey, and crazy. then when I was driving, when I told him I'm going to drive, I want to change, I want to have another car. And then we agreed we're going to pull together and get um, the Evoque. Yeah. yeah so then I gave him the Benz. But at first he was like, ah, this car is for old people. It's too heavy. I was surprised when he fell in love with it. And I couldn't believe it when he said, no, I love this car. I don't want to change it. Because at first he was very reluctant to drive that one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And then Chaffa crashed. Yeah, you were scared. <laughs> you are broken, man. I remember we were flying to Cape Town when it just crashed. It. You were yeah. like, oh, man. Yeah. Well, like, just I, I also felt better a little bit. Yeah. yeah. She loved that car. So it says, ask her about her grandchildren, how she nurtures them, and granny diaries. Oh, I love my grandkids because they are the only grandkids I have. I have never had any child before. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> More so when we we all, we always have these family meetings once a year. So when we meet as a family, every. every my mom had five kids, so we're still alive. So every one of us would be standing with the kids and the grandkids. So I used to stand alone. Sometimes my grandma is not there. You find that I'm standing alone and the family will tease me and say, this family is very lazy. It's not growing. <laughs> <laughs> and then... If, as time goes on, I will stand with MacGyver only. And they said, what's going on? It's been, you've been two only for so many years. And then when Ziggy came, it will be me, MacGyver and Ziggy. And then now we are four. It's better. Oh, I love them. I love them. Uh, Makatu reminds me of my mom because of the name. Yeah. And I can see some characters of my mom in here. Mm. So Ziggy is such a cool boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, please tell us about the story of the of Grandjo and those two business part partners that were shady. Ooh, yeah. Oh, the ones who made the gym. Yes. 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 Um, when did it start the Grandjo? When you? Uh, uh, I just started the podcast. Okay, yeah. Podcast. 2018, when he lost his job at um Highfield. We we um, I was I was had it was it was depressing because he had a bond to pay. Ziggy was there. Responsibility. Yeah. yeah. So um, uh, then he came up. He came to tell me that um, I I have this idea with a lady. Um, they're going to start a, a gin. I don't drink alcohol. I didn't understand what is a gin. So I'm very. <laughs> Very naive. I don't even understand the difference between mm, cider whatever and whatever. It's nice. It's nice. Have a taste. No. What for the sake of the chillers. For the, for yeah, the sake yeah, of the yeah, podcast. Yeah. For the sake it. of the chillers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the number one cheese. First alcohol ever. Woo. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> this, this is not nice. I did, I did it for the chillers. <laughs> I won't do it again. <laughs> so he explained to me what is a gin, and then they went to you went to Uncle um, Rexon, the one who passed away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the rich uncle. I Rex, the, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Rexon. Rexon is the one who paid the the distiller in Cape Town. They had to. He he bought the ticket for you. And then they flew to Cape Town and met this distiller there. And then um, uh, my uh, his uncle paid the distiller. So when he came back, there was some money you got from... Selling the house. Selling the house, <laughs> yeah. yes. And then I refused to finance this because I didn't understand it very well. So um, he decided to go and choose the bottle. Yeah. And then his first batch was on the way. Everything was in, in place. Now the distiller has done it. So oh, remember you said that they have to have the bottles first and then the bottles will go to Cape Town yeah. and then they come yeah. back with the yeah. with the gin. So the bottles were clear from China and then they have to come here. So they made them black 
in Centurion and then go back to Cape Town so they can fill the liquid Damn. and then come back. Yeah, so this trip was too much. I said, like, why can't they just do it once? And he explained to me how it works. So um, we, I, I go to the gym and then I've got friends. We're sitting in the sauna. We're talking. And then um, I've got... Um, What's her name, by the way? Niniko. Niniko, yeah. Her name is Niniko. So I'm sitting in the sauna. I'm telling her what my son is doing. Uh, she Show said, them the bottle. She then. said, okay, yeah. I'm interested, okay? Then I said she, he wants um, uh, uh, people that can work with him because he was all in his own at that time. And I've heard Niniko talk about other businesses that she does, even though I didn't have proof whether they're there or not, yes, but I yes. believed her. So... Um, we became friends, and then when I got home, I I sent her the the the, the bottle that you, you showed me that, that this is the one you're gonna use. So I sent her a picture. She looks at the picture. She's like, "Oh, this is premium. This is top class. I'm in. I want to meet McGee and we talk." Then I said to my son, mm. "But somebody wants to talk to you about this, and then you're gonna take it up with her." So she he asked me, "Do you trust her?" I said, "Yeah, I trust her. She's from the gym. Blah 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 blah." Okay, then they met. Mm. I think the first meeting went very well. Yes, yes. And then they were like, Jay Z is going to be the brand ambassador. Yeah. Oh, contact. Yeah. 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 And yeah. they had, they had red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Number one red flag of the three. So uh, I think a few meetings went on, and, yeah. then, and then it looked like it's. And they even had an. Uh, uh, um, they even spoke about having it at pick and pay. Yeah, yeah, they said, because I was just yeah. missing distribution. Yeah. So they're like, they'll cover that. That was our whole basis of the partnership. So I gave them the whole business plan of how it's produced, what the aim is, the goal, the vision, and whatever. They're like, all right, cool, we'll come in and uh, do distribution. I think That's there, was, what I also, there yeah. was also for some return. money that you you loaned. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, for the besides, thousand bottles, yeah. Besides the... the, the the, yeah, because I maxed cash, out everything that I had. The cash like that you got from. Yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah so you house also made a loan. And I was against it. I said, you can't do a loan. He said, but I need it. So he said, okay, go ahead, do it. So the F&B loaned him yeah, money. Yeah. And then he was he was struggling to pay at that time. Yeah. And he also told them that he has got this loan. If they're coming on board, they must know you have to... Uh, pay the loan. Yeah. They were like, "Oh, fine, we understand." So I think they 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 they, they activated it for for few months. Yes, yes. Because yes, they yes. went to Pretoria, other places whereby you were not there. They were there because she. When you went to the meeting, she brought her friend, mm. and I didn't know about the friend. You told me after the meeting that she came with someone else. Mm. So okay, everything is going, but suddenly things changed. I don't know where where it all changed. They started complaining that Macaver is not showing up at the activation mm. um, places. So mm. they find themselves doing it alone. He's not there. And he was also starting the podcast at that time. Mm. So they felt like they're doing more than what they're, they're putting more they effort. The heavy lifting. And he's not doing much. So, because even the meetings were happening at his house in Midrand. So then as time goes on, they started not trusting him. And then when he wanted to take some roles in the... In, in, in their discussions, they refused. I remember when you wanted to do the social media thing, they said, no, 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 we can't trust you on that one. Mm. Yeah, then he got they angry. They thought I was a delinquent. Yeah, then mm -hmm. he got angry. Mm -hmm. But it's they my got brand, by angry. the way. It, they started, oh, then MacGyver decided, oh, you wanted money to pay for the loan. They were no longer paying. And then they kept yeah. saying, uh, we're going to, we are still consolidating. We're going to tell you. And then MacGyver one day just decided to go to the account, the business account, and withdraw the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's still in your name, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he withdrew the money, and then I don't know what you did with the money. I think you paid the F and B. Then, yeah, yeah. And then she, like Nico opened a case against him for theft. Mm. Jesus, Yo. this is was when I could see they're trying to do a whole. So takeover. then, yeah, when yeah, yeah, that yeah. started, then, yeah. then Nico called me. I was in vendor by that time. Then she calls me and tells me she she she, she gives, she's giving me heads up on what is happening so that I mustn't hear from MacGyver and complain. Then I listened to a very long story of what MacGyver has been doing. I mean, there's always two sides of the story. So mm -hmm. I was hearing her side. So when I asked MacGyver, he was like, no, that's not true. So, you know, when you're not having two people at the same place to discuss things, mm -hmm. it's always your word against the other one. Mm -hmm. So eventually 
then it becomes a, a, a tug of war because now there's lawyers involved. There's Eish. a case of theft. They can't get. They can't work together anymore. They've blocked him. He can't access the account anymore. Mm. I was <clears throat> and then they, in one of the meetings, they said, MacGyver is not business savvy. They could have taken this from him because he didn't even trademark the the, the brand. The brand. Mm. So when he comes to me to tell me, I said, look, let's check if they did it. And then we find that they didn't trademark. And Themselves. then I said, yes, they didn't trademark also. Then I said, so let's they gave do me two, it. They gave me two alternatives. They were like, listen, uh, we either take over this business. You give us 100%. Um, or oh, another problem was the percentages. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can continue operating. We'll give it to you. But we own the trademark. So whatever sales you make, you must pay the us. Good royalties. Yeah. yeah. So as soon as I left the meeting, I come home, I'm like, ah, man, you see your people now. Your people are fucking me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, let's check if they really trademarked it. And then he's like, um, we, we uh, Googled a company that is doing this trademark thing. And then they, uh, they, they decided to check for us. And they said, no, it's not trademarked. Then we trademarked it. Same time. So spots. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. That's so how I say after, Now they have a bargaining chip. Just yeah. after we did it, a week down the, li- uh, down the line, they wanted to trademark. trademark and they were told it's been taken. Yeah. <laughs> I was this close, bro. This Yo. close. Boys, this close. I'm losing this whole thing, man. Yeah. 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 Then, if it was for the trademark, I was fucked, bro. Then there was another problem. There was um, alcohol. There was jeans in the warehouse. Yeah, a thousand bottles. The ones that uh, the, the, we paid the for initially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They couldn't allow MacGyver to have the bottles and they couldn't allow the ladies to have the bottles because now they were no longer agreeing. agreeing. Mm. So um, It's a long story. This <laughs> thing. So did you end up getting those thousand bottles though? No, no, no. 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 They, they sold them during lockdown. So oh, it's I, I don't know what, they, what the trade. owner of the warehouse... I didn't know what they said to the owner of the warehouse. Yeah, the owner of the warehouse favoured them. So when I would come and say, can I have the bottles? Because it was there. It was... From their side, isn't yeah. it? No, no, no. I introduced mm. them. I introduced him to them, mm. but they developed a relationship without me mm. because the plan was for them to trademark it and then do it without me, like mm. freeze me out completely. Mm. So they already had uh, systems in in place without me. Like they already mm-hmm. registered another company. Yeah, yeah, if you, yeah, if you, yeah. If you go on CPIC, you'll see Grandeur Inc. That's the company Jeez. that they registered. But now, obviously, they can't trade. An with alcohol the, name Grand Joe because it's uh, copyright. Hundred yeah. percent. Yo, they, then they also went to Cape Town to meet the distiller. Yeah, because I gave them the whole business plan. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, went to the distiller. Everything. They wanted to 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 get the receipt from the distiller. And, and he then, was loyal. And he then called he called right. Makaya and yeah. said, "I'm seeing those people here. I don't know them. You're All I here. know you. You're the one who came here with Naledi. So suddenly they want me to give them the receipt. But here we are. We've got a sip and chill edition. At all pick and pays. But so many Beautiful. pick and pays. <laughs> but so many pick and pays. Are, so many people are saying they don't have the grand join their pick and pays. No, it's because it's sold out. Ma. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Then that was that. And then I, I still went to the gym despite all that. And you saw them? Yeah. And then the other one, we continue, we continued talking with, with, with uh, Nikki. Niniko, sorry. But we never touch the issue of Grand Joy anymore. We just greet each other. Hi, hi. You still see her now? No, I'm no longer in uh, Wanderers. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I will say hi, hi, and then that's it. But the other lady wouldn't talk to me also. So well, once I knew that we, we've got the trademark, then I said, my girl, just do another bottle. Because mm, the bottles were black. Yeah, yeah, they were black. Then it was black. Right? Yeah, then he did, he did A thousand it. bottles were black. Yeah, yeah. then the, he, he, the lady found the distiller in, in, in Joburg. Yeah, Croft Then Lake. we went there and then they said, no, they decided white will stand out in every counter. A white bottle stands out. That's where the white bottle came into yeah. place. So I was there and then they wanted us to taste their recipe. I said, I don't know, alcohol, you mm. have to do it with him. So that was the story of Grand Joe. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, almost, man. Matt, do you see um, uh, Naledi's impact in Meg's life? Like, ah, guys, guys. Yeah, a lot. A yeah. lot. A lot. You don't have another question there. A lot. No, 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 no. Ah, you, that's his person. Ah. That's a valid question. You said, you said, said a lot. She's yeah. got you a lot. in that speech. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You said everything great, you know, in your life was because of Naledi. Yeah. You said it. Because with the whole grandiose story, it's like... Yeah, actually, I mean... 
It's a question actually here as well. She she contributed a lot because she's the one who found the distillers in Joburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the time where you're supposed to how <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, but she's she's contributed a lot. She gave yeah. me two grand two beautiful grandchildren. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Were you there when she said she doesn't want to marry me the first time? Yeah, I was there. Remember, we went to the to Rustenbeck and then yeah. we, we said we want to marry her after she had the first child. Mm. And then the father said, My daughter doesn't want to get married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we decided, Okay, we can't force it. And then I, I come home and I ask her, You were still staying in Midrand. Mm. And then I come home and I ask her, Why don't you want to get married? She said she's not sure if she wants to spend the rest of her life with my son. Hey. Hey. Mm. But now she does, huh? But now she does. Of course, huh? Who would believe, huh? Imagine, eh? Put your foot in She was like, I'm not sure if I want to spend the rest of my life with him. So I, I respected that. But and and she also said, I don't want to get married because people are saying I must get married, which I supported. I said, you're right. You don't have to be married because people are saying you can be yes, married. Person, you need to marry because you feel yes, is the right person, yes. is the right time. So I supported her decision. I said, that's fine. I like the way it is, the way you're going with my son. Even if you're not married to him, I, I, I consider you as my daughter-in-law. But ma... When you in Randburg, Rustenburg, I was supposed to go to when I make a kurum no muntu akengini before she had lay Rustenburg. No, we were we were going to we were going to pay the damage. Oh, I see oh. for the child. For the child. Okay, okay. Yeah, but then we introduced that the idea of marriage. The idea of oh. marriage, but luckily she had already spoken to her dad because uh, uh, otherwise we would have got to go back you want again. Shot? The shot. No, for the chillers. No, for the pot, for no the I did the for the chillers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think there's a limit to the chillers. <laughs> I don't want to have a headache. <laughs> so we went twice. This the, the first time was being paying the damage. I don't like this episode, man. The second, I love it. Why? Why? We love sharing, it. Man. It's I'm about very, you. I'm very but you've already told a lot of people of things. You've yeah, already told them a lot of things. You don't have to things. detail. I mean, now it is. But you did anyway. that also. I wanted to know how we were conceived. I said it. Picky quick in the car. Okay. Okay. What do you want? What's next? Why you over Sherry? I'm like, yeah. you get shot every time you over That's the reason they wanted me to come because you keep talking about me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you sometimes call me oh, and say, Ma, this story blah, 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 blah. Ma. So they wanted to see who's this no, person share, share. behind These stories you must tell when I'm dead, not now. No. It's Netflix, what, what? There's more for when you're dead. Yeah. There's yeah. more than all of this info. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what the, the killers are asking, remember? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Have people recognized you? Like, do, has anyone ever stopped you? No, you... maybe from now they're going to start stopping me. No, no, not at all. Not at all. No, no. Okay. It only happened at the sunbed and maybe because I was wearing that vendor culture, yes. cultural yes. attire. Ah, yeah. So I, I, I stood out and then everybody could see me that, oh, that's the mother. Because before that, they, they didn't recognize me. Yes. So after the sunbed, no, I was fine. Actually, in, uh, after the event in sunbed, I couldn't even get to my car because everybody was stopping me for pictures and I can't say no. So eventually I decided, let me go and change. And then I got into the um, toilet, got to my jean and a cap and a t-shirt. No when I walked out, nobody recognized me. <laughs> then I had peace of mind. Even at Moloko, uh, nobody recognized me. And we looked very old. At <laughs> <laughs> Me and my sister, we were the oldest. <laughs> and they ordered pizza. How much was it? Yo, 400. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Ah, Welcome. I ordered two pizzas and then I had to pay 800. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, yes. you guys are so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and then Makai was saying to me, that's how, what, that, that's what they charge in the nightclubs. Yeah, yeah. no, it's wild. We it? wanted to see... You know, this vibe also this at life, the yeah. Moloko because it was said after party at Moloko. So I said to myself, let's go and see what's happening there. When we got there, the queue was very long. So it helped to be Makaeva's mom. So we were like, I am Makaeva's mom. So we were taken at the back and then that's how we entered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to, uh, um, Simpiwe, do you have a question? Where's the mic? 
Oh, who's got the mic? You Zile. don't have okay, any cool, more cool. questions there? No, no. I want I want the people that are in the room to ask a question as okay. well. Okay. And then we'll go back to the chillers as well. So, uh, this is Zila. So, you know Zila. He's from the Bantuizis. Yeah, podcast. I know the Bantuizis. Even though I don't watch it very often because I don't understand the, the, the lingo. lingo. The lingo. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's when I realize I'm very old. Yeah. <laughs> very no cap, old. no cap. <laughs> no cap. <Yeah. laughs> so, Zila, he's one of the hosts. Yeah, I know them. Three, even this one. Yeah, that's yeah. Sima and Sima. Yanda Woods. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know, Ne, like, let's say you knew how Meiji is going to turn out, like, when he was growing up. What would you, like, done differently based on, like, how you were raising him? What was the only thing that you were going to tell him or raising him? What were you going to do differently if you knew he was going to have this major podcast that's, like, inspiring us young people and everyone around the world? Whew. I'm inspiring you, my dog. <laughs> 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 uh, I, sh- I don't know what to say on that one because um, I raised him the best I could and the, the best I know, which was not bad coming from my parents, how they raised me. Um, I, I don't have an answer on that one. I think the way I did it is the way I would still do it. Yeah. Because there's nothing that I regret doing. Okay, maybe beating him sometimes. <laughs> you know what happened? I yeah, once came I, to him I, like, hey, man, you got to stop this beating. Because I used to talk one, two, if he doesn't listen. <laughs> she was doing a wrestling move on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, you know, he's petty. You know, he's small. I will pick yeah, him yeah. up and I... <laughs> <laughs> That's how angry I used to be. <laughs> and then he, and then he, I think that's I can I can change because I, 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 when when he came to me one day, he said, Mom, stop beating me. Talk to me. I'll listen to you. <laughs> and then every time I want to raise my hand and beat him, I'll, I'll recall those words because I promised him I won't do it. And then eventually I stopped. At what age was that? He was already crazy. Because mm. I remember there was a day I hit you with a clap here on your chest and you were going to shoot. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> celebrity. You got two legs on TV. Your yeah? mom's trying to boot you away after you board. <laughs> and I'm driving him to a shoot. And I'm, I think that was the last one I gave you. <laughs> and then I'm like, no. And he was not breathing properly. Then I felt bad. I felt very bad. I'm waiting then, until she's 80. It's payback time. When she's and then 80. I felt. <laughs> I felt very bad. And then (laughs) then I decided, uh uh, no, I can't go on like this. I I stopped. And then every time uh, that age comes, I would be like, no, I can't do it. Then I eventually stopped. But that's how we were raised. My mom and dad used to beat us. Yeah. Discipline. Yeah. That's crazy. I remember. You remember? (laughs) You learned those moves. No, I, I will just pick him up and, <laughs> and establish it. <laughs> he didn't like making up his making his bed and oh, yeah. and, and washing dishes and all this. The house ah, chores. He didn't know. like he didn't like doing it. So we would always fight. Those are the things that made us fight most of the time. The untidiness. Yeah, yeah. then yeah. Oh Sima. Um she's another oh. host, no? Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, I wanted to ask you, like seeing that you allowed him to be in the media space at such a young age, what could you say for like to other parents with kids that are like want to be influencers and stuff? Hey, what's wrong with your voice? Yeah. Hey. Get that job. I will say to the parents who, who've is, got is, kids. Are you done with the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I will say to the parents out there who've got kids that are do that would like to do something that we are not uh, like familiar with or um, used to allow them to go out there and do what they like. Just support them and it makes it easy for them because if you're against it, they will always do what you like, but they're not happy. So if they are happy with what they're doing, let them do it. That's what I did. He didn't want to go to university and he said, mom, you're wasting your money. Remember the money that we, I was paying every year we chowed it? You said, let's share it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was paying every year for his education. And then when he reached metric, it matured. So when I told him that I was I was paying this premium every year for education. Varsity, yeah. Now I now I want you to go. He didn't have a plan of what to do in the university. So I could see that pushing him to that direction won't work because he's not interested. So I knew that he likes music because he, I ever since he bought that PC and the radio, he was well, always doing yeah. yeah, he was always in the room playing music. So I knew that that is direction. So then he was like, he said to me, mom, that was meant for me. So because I didn't go to the university, let's just share this money. Mm -hmm. So we shared the money. Yeah, <laughs> and, and she got some backlash at home because... Um, yeah, remember. everybody didn't didn't understand why he's not going to the university and do something. But I supported him and I said, no, he knows what he wants. Let's just let him go out there and figure it out on his own. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't have kids. He doesn't have a wife. Yeah. Why do I have to worry about him doing what he likes? So, uh, but luckily for him, people believed him before he even finished metric because he managed to get the gig for crazy. Yes. He did it himself. So already people knew that he's got that potential. He can do it. So it wasn't too much of like, where is he going? Because no people knew already that he's on TV. So the when thump, some direction. Yeah. When he when he started the TV thing, we were sitting watching TV one day and he said, Ma, I wanna do that. And I said, okay, I'll give you money to go to Sent. And I gave him the address. He took a text. I was surprised when he kept telling he was barefoot. I didn't know that you were barefoot yeah, when you went barefoot. there. So he said to me, Ma, what must I say when I get there? I said, I can't teach you. If I teach you what to say, then they don't ask you what I taught you, then you'll be lost. So you deal with it when you get there. And then he went to Sentin. And then he went to Sentin on his own. There was still, what is there? What is, next to Sentin City there? Yeah, ETV there. The, ETV there. The, the, then he the, went the, in. I think I think they just liked this small boy who, who was that brave to come and face them on his own. And then that is how it all started. And I also remember, um, <clears throat> this is a metric now, no? Um, so obviously, like, we in, I think, we, I think it was accounting. So the teacher asked us, what do you all want to be, right? So they start from the front kid, the kid in the front. And niggas are saying, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an accountant. Accounting was big at the mm -hmm. time. I want to do IT. So they came to me. I wanted to say radio, but I knew all the kids would laugh. <laughs> well, I went, so I didn't say radio. I'm like, ah, I want to be a CA. So the whole time I was like, okay, cool. I want to be a CA. Then I go back to her. And yeah, he told me I want to be a CA. I said, are you sure? He said, yeah. Then I took him to a CA company in Rosebank. And he told me I have to study for seven years. And then they... <laughs> <laughs> Like, because I knew, yeah. I knew he's just saying yeah, it. I mean, yeah. Don't, you don't see a CA. Yeah. Yeah. And I, said, and I, even, I even said to him, your, your mathematics must be here. And his math was not that good. Yeah. So I said to him, okay, I took him to Rosebank, to a, com a black company. Uh, then they sat down with him. They showed him how he should perform it at metric level and then what's going to happen. And then eventually, then all the articles is going to do. Then when we left there, he was like, no, mom, no, no, no. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> then I knew that it, at least that one is sorted. He's yeah. not going to talk about CA anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> Never did after. Uh, who, Tato. Tato. Oh, uh, Mamzo. Um, He's want, our camera guy. You know Tato. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Uh, Mamzo, I wanted to ask. Uh, so Mac once mentioned here on the podcast that when he's in trouble, most of the time he calls you. You're the first person that he calls. So I'd like to know, what is that one thing that Mac called you for? And we're like, hey, this child is going to be a problem. You saying, <laughs> you're saying something that he said that when he called me, I'm like he's gonna be a problem or he is a problem. So 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 like when he calls you, I gotta when like make G is in trouble, maybe crashes his car, you're the first person like he's going to call. Yeah. So I'd like to know what is that one thing that he called you for? Oh. And then we're like, hey, this oh. child is oh, gonna okay. be a problem. I was I had my brother's kids there, they were, you were about five. Yeah, five. I had five boys in my flat. So the four were my brother's kids. They were studying. And then it was with, with him also. So he, he has been DJing for, for a very long time, since the times of YFM. So one day at around about half past five-ish, um, I get a call. Um, they crashed with a Mini Cooper. Uh, and the guy who crashed with MacGyver is beating MacGyver also. 
So I get out of my bed. I'm like, oh, they're going to kill my son now. <laughs> and then I get out of my bed. I go, I, as I was driving on, on Empire Road, as I was driving to the scene, I see a traffic cop. And then I told them what is happening and asked them to follow me. But he didn't believe me. So I ended up going there. When I get there, I found that um, his, his side, I think it was the left side that was stolen. Mm, I was trying to fight back and then... <laughs> He was drinking, <laughs> there's alcohol in, in the car. And then I think MacGyver was the one who was wrong and it involved a taxi and a private car. And that was an Indian guy. Hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Col colored, colored, colored. Yeah. It was a it's colored story, uh, guy. Yeah. yeah. And then when I arrived. Had him they, panga. They, yeah. So they told me what happened. And then when I arrived, <laughs> then MacGyver's friends now started to attack the, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> they're starting to beat him now and I'm like no 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 guys we don't want to go you don't want to get into trouble let's not do this let's 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 wait for the police which they never came mm -hmm. and then we just had to exchange numbers and then um we reported the uh, the accident at the police station that was that was the worst that I could say I said to myself I my son now is getting because there was alcohol involved mm -hmm. yeah 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 let's go back to the so children. he you always calls me for good and bad mm. not only bad mm. oh last one from Dudu oh Dudu Dudu's our producer yes. you know Dudu I know uh, <laughs> yes so um, you mentioned that when he lost his job at 947 you were like really heartbroken you know and then while we were at some point you know with the podcast we had grown quite a lot. We had a lot of sponsors and then certain things happened and then some sponsors pulled away. In that moment, what was your feeling and what words did you share with him? Oh, I remember the one from, because I don't stay with him. So luckily I, I was at his place when it happened, the Jib Jib uh, episode. Um, I think it, I think that's when I was starting to understand this uh, this chillers thing in the industry. Um, How about in the food? <clears throat> uh, so he was. He told me he's going to SABC. You were going to do something at SABC. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. sure, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then suddenly he comes back very early. I'm sitting there at home with the lady and the kids. So he's he comes back home early and then he's explaining to us that he has been um, stopped from shooting uh, I don't know the group you talked about you said the group said they don't want you there yeah Malone sleaze his management yeah I didn't know them because yeah so then it hit me very hard it was so bad and then I saw him looking very sad also then he went upstairs and then he just slept and then the next day he was asking for soft porridge he doesn't want to eat then we had to give him something to eat mm. because he was so depressed I, I also felt very bad but I also said to him don't worry this is just another hurdle uh, next year, no, there are going to be some others coming. Not everybody hates you. There are those who hate you. There are those who love you. So yeah. others are coming. Others are going. This is life. You can't expect everybody to love you in this in this world. There are those who won't, look, who won't be looking at this as a bad thing. There are those who are looking at this as a bad thing. So we looked at the future. I think we even uh, brainstormed on how you're going to do your next show. He wanted to quit. Remember you said, you said he wants to quit? Did what the podcast? Yeah. Oh, wow. He said, "Okay, let's." What, what, when was this? Around the Jub Jub era. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> wow. "I mean, at home, he's like, maybe I should just quit and go home and do." My grandfather has got the farm and blah 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 blah. He said, no, you can't quit. <laughs> My guy for the farmer. Ah, this is too much. The guy, <laughs> <laughs> then he wakes up Damn, in the bro. morning. In the morning, he's a changed person. It's like, no, mom, not gonna quit. No, bang to ella guys. Bang to me. I'm not going to quit. No, if I quit, that's what they like. I said, now you got it. You don't nice. quit. You don't quit. Yeah. And that's what I advised him not to quit. But I think it was because of the frustration. It was all over. And uh, now he's used to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are also used to that. When I'm still... Um, um, 
pulled out. Pulled out. It was like, oh, it's another, it's another brand anyway. Now we got Stripe Toes. Yeah, now we got Stripe Toes. Oh, Stripe Toes. Oh, 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 Stripe Toes. Yeah. I will, I, I will, Don't ever taste. Come I, will, up here. I can, I can try them because they're supporting you. <laughs> they, they even, they, 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 they even helped you with the sun better. Yeah. Yeah. And they are still with us, yeah. so I, I can try that for oh, them. Okay. Let me Good try job. and I'll tell them. She does. You gotta try. Cold one. Give me a cold one. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my guy! <laughs> Welcome to the good side of life. This is striped horse. Yes, yeah. striped horse and the chillers. One. <laughs> Can't count down for me, please. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. What's your max? One. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, please don't make that a meme, guys. This is my bad. This is my bad. Too late. Too late. It's too late. Too late. Too late. <laughs> but I don't feel any bitterness or what. Is it? Is it just still like this? Yeah, yeah. It's good. Okay. It's a good beer. Yeah, it's a good quality yeah, you can beer. This one. Oh, oh yeah. no! <laughs> I don't want to hit the head. Just <laughs> <laughs> like let's take some more, man. But what's your what's your memorable um uh, uh episode on the network? Mm. Like one episode. Oh, there are quite just... few. It's um. Uh, Malinga's episode. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, John Steinhausen. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, which one again? Um, Siloma Kekangube. Oh. Right, oh. that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, let me think about this year. Jube, the jube jube. <laughs> yeah, the jube jube. Oh, you know which one she liked? Yeah. She called me. Remember, everyone was like, yo. You guys were doing too much here. Yeah. She was like, that's my boy. One day's episode. Yeah. 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 Make mama wild, bro. You're like, yeah, and I was, I was scared, dog. Like, yeah. my mom's gonna fucking cancel me. Like, That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and even the one where you were talking about how it all started mm, when yeah. he started, that was interesting. Okay. Yeah, that was a nice Which one. Which one is that one? The one you were after, I think it was after the million. Oh, and then the you, Yeah, and then you oh. talked about how it all started with your phone and, oh, yeah, and, and who came in in your life and all that. I liked that one too. So now that um, uh, 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 you're working for the podcast and I'm your boss, um, <laughs> how would you rate me as a boss? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Please be honest on our behalf. <laughs> Yes. On our behalf. No, actually, please, because they're too many to lie. You know, you know, you know, because, you know, because he's also my boss. I work for him as he always. Yeah, it's true. I work for him. I'm on. I'm, I'm into sales. Yeah. So if you want to advertise tomorrow the tonight, podcast, that was her. That was her. Wow. If you want to advertise, Mama. Send me and drop it. What did they say? Drop, drop me, me a, mail. a mail at Juliet at this is Ah, you're getting too excited. Now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pitching. Ah, I'm, 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 I'm using the platform. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the question again? I don't can't remember as well. How is it as a boss? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, Ah, it's always difficult because I'm a mother and also an employee. Mm. So it's difficult to draw the line. Sometimes we clash and we 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 can't talk for a day or two. Yeah, the we... last fight we had was in New York and uh, I called her and yeah, it was bad. Eh? She ended up saying, Full sack, <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and you think it's going to say Fonzo. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the argument? No, my thing is, uh, 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 uh. he's saying to he says to me. I think she always he, wants to talk about the podcast, so whenever I go see her, all she talks about is the podcast. I so see. I said it down. I'm like, yo, bro, that's work, man. Like after the podcast, I knock off. I'm here as your son. I still want my mom. Yeah, you're not a chiller. Yeah, we'll be chilling. She's like, so how's Funded Chiller gonna work? I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mind you, he he he. He 
he always comes to me when he's got ideas. He's got zillion ideas, this boy. So he always comes to me. And I never say to him, no, this time it's for me as a mother. I can't just... So I thought it's free. I'm also free to talk about anything mm. with him. True, so true, na- true, now true, suddenly true. you, you get want it, to Matt, draw you get a line it? and tell me... Yes, when he you, blurred them. Yeah, he can't, you can't talk about the, uh, the podcast. You must talk about uh, the family matters. And there isn't much in the family happening right now. It's more... <laughs> <laughs> it's small things happening in the yeah, 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 yeah. and I'm also part of the, yeah, the, the, the people um, so I could talk about him about family things but there was no point where I'll, I'll... Uh, I'm at a timing poise no, now bro, you, bro, you look, blurred the lines no, her, but listen right? dog, so now listen dog we're on vacation remember the family vacation you have once a year yeah we're on vacation two weeks ago mm-hmm. it's 3 fucking a.m. bro she comes to me so how spreading you must doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Batuizi. Yeah, you know he never he 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 doesn't it's come. He doesn't come to me as vacation. He doesn't come to me as he used to do before. I'm busy. <laughs> moments anymore where yeah, I will sit and yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. so when I see him I must capitalize on that and then talk about everything I talk about everything whatever comes into my mind then those. there's the argument he says no you're not respecting my wish because you always want to be right and then I got very angry with him and I said foot sack man <laughs> now, nah, but we chopped it up. And then he was very quiet, and then I hang up, and then I hang up, and then no. and then I felt very bad. I said, Oh my god, what have I done to my son? He's now overseas. What if this can drive him to go and do bad things there? Because I know I'm 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 the only person who's very close to him. Mm. So Pride, <laughs> yeah, because I know if I call him, I'm gonna go back to the argument. Yeah. So I said, okay, let me wait until he comes back. Then when he landed, he sent me a text and mom, I'm home safe. Then I said, thank you, my boy. Come and see me. Let's talk. Mm. And then we talked, and then we ended out. So That's a like, glad. That was hectic. Yeah, it was hectic. That was sound like. And tense. we spoke about three hours. Yeah, that was in New York hours. talk. We spoke like, about I'm like, no, I've got better things to do here. Yeah. Ah. And I said, I've got better things to do here also. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad we met going... and we chopped it up. Otherwise, this interview was going to be mm. very... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. So you would have had to do that interview. But I, but I still, really? but I still no. maintain that I'm not going to allow him to tell me that now it's time to talk about family. Now it's time to talk about the podcast. But can he you... must just allow me if he... Because the same applied to him. He called me earlier having something in mind while he was in New York. I didn't say... No, I called you about the comments. The comments. Remember yeah, the comments I... I read? I was like, what do you think about these That is comments? still podcast. But I didn't say to you, mm. I'm sleeping. You can't call me now and talk about the podcast. Mm. Every time he calls me, I know he wants to talk to me. Yeah. And I cannot block him. Yeah. I just have to listen to him. So why must I... Always watch the time and place when I want to talk to you. Have a dream on vacation. It doesn't matter. Why did you call me? The time difference of New York and, yeah. and, and South Africa are not the same. But so you call that happen, me. Doesn't that happen with you where like when people like you with your friends or people that you just want to own out and just be so penuka and the first thing they want to talk so about is, is hey, the first thing they want to talk about is the podcast. All the time. All the you time. know what I mean? All the time. Yeah, yeah. but do you stop them? Or you answer what they ask. No, 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 I don't, I, I don't engage them. Because I'm, I ask them what you do for a living. Yes. Then I'm like, can we talk about, you know, yes. the price of petrol or whatever, if you're a fuel attendant exactly. or whatever. You know? <laughs> like, how you want to feel, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. I do that when, exactly. I, when I go to smack. I'm like, who's one of your colleagues? What last did you see? <laughs> you, have <laughs> so, you have a so way I, of handling yeah, it. Yeah, I've got a way, but yeah. I avoid it. I don't like it, though. He, he doesn't have a way. He's coming straight to me and said, don't talk about this. So... <laughs> That I can't take. That's why. Yeah, no podcast. Today. And I'm working. In, you know, yeah. it's different. When I was not part of the podcast, I didn't know what's happening. Mm. So I go to these meetings. I hear things, and some of them I want to ask from him. And some of them they send me. They say, "Okay, make Jesus mom go and talk to him about this." And I say, "Guys, you don't know when I talk to him about podcast, he doesn't like it." Mm. I went to some office. They said, "Can you ask your son?" I said, "Guys, he doesn't like it when I talk to him about." The, the podcast. podcast. Yeah. So if you've got anything, just send him in, an email. But think about it, bro. I think you'd rather have it this way as opposed to a parent who thinks you just do some hobby out there. Exactly. You know? Yeah, and for real. No, but I think Mac people, wants a parent who thinks space, yeah. <laughs> you do a hobby. Yeah, they're like, oh, I just does a hobby somewhere. Meanwhile, you so you see, shit. You, you see, you see when he called me like from New York and saying, what do you think of the comment? He wanted my opinion. 
and I was very honest with him. I said, but I get what Ma's saying, Mac. You need to hear. You not. You're not hearing her. Is that you go to her and ask for her opinion whenever, and she what entertains you. So you also need to give her that same entertainment. Okay. Reciprocate. Got it. Ooh. Came from Tato. Got. Okay. I don't like this. I don't think we don't. We will have to fight because in the in the family out here, you are sitting you out. with the family members. I was not even part of that group. They were talking about the podcast. You see? And he says, because they are not usually engaging with me, that's why I'm giving them the platform to talk to me about the podcast. And I was not even part of that. But then later, just when he was oh, about to go, he comes in and he's, that's, that was the moment for me to be with mm. him. Hey. The podcast mm. late, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna ask me a question, or was it for questions? No, no, it's fine. Let's move on. I think let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Um, where do you see Mac in the next five years? Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Five years. Surely things are moving in the right direction. I think we will be having about three million or two million subscribers. Mm. No, not two. Two is close now. Maybe three million subscribers. Mm. Um. In terms of the podcast, but him as a person, I think. Thank you, as your son. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he will be taking care of his family. Uh, um, maybe we'll move to Dubai. What do you ah. think? What do you think? Ah. Five years, maybe we can move to Dubai. I don't know, guys. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. They can cancel him, and all is gone. But what are your dreams and aspirations for, for him? I think he has got he has achieved them already. Wow. Yeah, I'm running out of dreams, eh? I think he's got oh. 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 Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Now I'm curious what you're saying in New York. I think he has achieved the dreams, most of his dreams, but all that is left now, whatever he's going to achieve. After now, it's just a bonus. Yeah. 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 So he can still dream, but the main thing is that he did it. And then mm -hmm. I'm just a proud mom. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. Actually, there's a okay, question from me. Um, with like over the years or whenever all the episodes, like the cringe moments, I know obviously some people will be like, your parents, why would the parents even watch this, you know? And in, in terms of whether it's the, the, the word usage, smash, blowjob, this, that, you know, like how we've been on the podcast yeah. Yeah. and you are so free. Like, where do you get it from? Because you're a person that we can talk about anything to, you know, you are very, very, I think what people don't know is that, for Mac to be so open, it's actually you are the very open person. You know? I don't know where I got it from because my mom was not like this. But I used to be like this to my mom, talk about anything. I'll even ask her how she met my dad. Mm -hmm. I'll even ask her how was the first day for intercourse. And then huh? she will tell me, you don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> talk to, to your mom cringe. about that thing. <laughs> she will tell, she'll tell me that, how can you ask me something like that? That's how free I was. So yeah. I... I do the same to my son. So it's not like you, when you do, it's your personality. So when you do it, you don't like consciously remember that now you are doing it. That, that's just your personality. When he lost his virginity, did he tell you? How was he? Hey, him. Yeah. He never told me. Because oh, I asked him and he was like, oh, not yet, mom. Oh, not yet, mom. Until I knew about, who's that lady that you love so much? You nearly committed suicide. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He was very, very hurt. Oh, my son was losing it. <laughs> but he was to be blamed. It wasn't the lady who so it, 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 it was him. I mean, he was famous at YFM. Women wanted to be around him. And he had, what's her name? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's her name? There's so many names. Ah, the one from Cartonsville. <laughs> Cartonville. Yeah, the one from Cartonville. Ellen. 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 Yes, that's the one I thought he was gonna marry. That one. They were like this. They were they were like two peas in a pot. So, so he started cheating because he was getting famous. Roadkill. Yeah, and then. <laughs> 
Oh, and then that's Ellen, I think Ellen got tired at some point and he thought Ellen would be there forever. So oh, she decided oh. to leave him. And then he came back and told me, oh, he was, he was crushed. He was, he was feeling very, he was, he lost his mind a little bit. Not necessarily like he wanted to commit suicide. He only wanted to commit suicide when he lost his first eye, his, fo- his phone, the first phone. Oh, oh you yes. You remember? 3310. The 3310 without mm. a SIM card. He took it to school and they stole it. So before I come back, before I come back home, I find him sitting at the couch. He's looking sad. I'm like, what's wrong? He said, Ma, I lost the phone. What? Sure. Did you take the phone to school? He said, yeah. Why? Because he doesn't even have a SIM card. <laughs> and then he was like, no, I wanted to show my friends. So oh. they stole it somewhere when he was uh, playing in the... Tea. Yeah, in the Yeah, the guy from the cast, you've told yeah. the story. That is before. the one that he told me he went upstairs in the roof and wanted to kill himself. Go ahead and jump. From what floor? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 a whole job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with you know? Ellen, he was just he was just crying ten. because he never thought she's gonna leave her, him. I'm sorry, he never thought he, she's gonna leave him. So he was just crushed. But I helped him to get to through that, and then we talked more and more, and then eventually he went over it. He was okay. And yeah. then what last you see Ellen? And uh, I'm a love back. Ah, well, once, not now, obviously, but what was I? No, I once drunk dialed her and then she said I must never call her again. <laughs> oh, shame. <laughs> I mean, she's married yeah. now. I'm yeah, sorry pastor, to, yeah. she, to oh, their husband. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, she got married. Oh, yeah. So he had to distance himself because she also got married. She got married. Yeah, yeah, but I fucked up there. Yeah, yeah he, he was the one who fucked the whole thing up. Mm. But shot the boy. Mac Mac once said um he used to cry a lot like oh, as a yeah, kid. Hey. Oh, I was together, I didn't. I went why, to the mountains. Why, no why, man why, the mountains cry. That, ha- that helped you. It was, no, was he it? cried before. Yes, that's true. Like as a kid, he was. Yes. A, a, he cried yeah. a lot. Because I, I, after the mountain thing, oh, I was like, thank God he doesn't cry too much because he used to cry a lot. Even You've if he can't find. to ask these questions. Even, even, even if he can't so find his socks in the morning. About. So like, I just want to confirm. Where did you see my socks? And he's crying. What? Damn, man. bro. Oh, yeah. But then he, up, after the mountains, no, he was a he young was a man. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a young man. It, he stopped all this crying thing. I, I think we need to wrap this up, man. <laughs> I find fun. Penduke, any question? Which that? episode did you find uh, the most boring of all of our, our guests? Oh, from the guests. Mm. You. I always try and see what is interesting in every episode. You but find the good in every yeah, episode. Yeah. Mm, I always find something interesting. But um, I think I told you that. Yeah, there was one you said that was really, really boring. Like a person who we don't want, they must never come back. Yo, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, say that. Yeah. There's only one more. I know okay, that okay. I must have a reason for not wanting that person back. Who would you love to see though, us interview? Just for you. Like, don't mind the chillers. Who, would, who is like... Who are you a fan of that you'd want us to have? Um, what do you call the the the, the former pro- public protector? Oh, oh we'll see him one. Yeah. Ah, uh, we've got a surprise she's for coming. you. She's coming. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. we'll see him come on. Not and her or the other one. The former. Oh, Tuli. 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 I, I get it there. It's now. Now, it's no yes. Longer. It's the, no longer. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's her. the one. That's oh, the one. Okay. And this guy for who does comedies like the white guy, um, the, the the filmmaker, Leon, Leon Schuster. Schuster. Oh, the Schuster. Oh, the chillest queen okay. wanting Leon I Schuster. think Leon Schuster and Brent and, and Rebecca Malope. Okay. Oh, okay. I watched I watched her story with um. Uh, David. Mashabe. Yes, right. It was there. it was it was captivating. It was nice. I ah, think okay. you there's a lot of people that can <laughs> do, do. Do, do. do do a thing or two. Do your thing. Yeah, I mean in South Africa. Um I would also want to see the president, whether the recent or the ah, predecessors. Yeah, you've got to oh. think of president. Hey, pre- oh. president. We need to ask. <laughs> which, which one? <laughs> uh, the, one? Uh, the current one, I don't think you're going to be able to get him. He looks to be, he seems to be very busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I think Zuma. Zuma. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I know how my son is going to go. He's going to go to the wives now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Zuma. Zuma. Okay. And I would love to see more of um, 
uh, uh, people who are doing who are who are successful in business just to come in and help uh, other pe- aspiring business people yeah. how to go about doing it yeah yeah i don't know which people exactly but if you can have something like that on the show and health wise also because uh, people are struggling out there mentally. Ah, no one cares about that stuff. No, we do. It's a nice no, idea, but the numbers will be low. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's, no, always a, it's a noble idea no, till num- we yeah. put it up and the numbers are, aren't doing well. The Bantuis generally. Those, can do those it. who said. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the kids don't want to do you. <laughs> oh, Bantuis. Yo, when are you guys having your mother's on? I would like on? to have somebody from SARS. SARS. You can have your mom. There's a lot going on. That... Hold on, mama. Because his business wife. Bring on your moms, guys. Yeah, bring your guys' moms. I think that'll be interesting. Do you think your mom would come, Zima? Maybe camera shy. But she will be nervous when she started and then slowly get come. Yeah, 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 give me some striped horse or grand jewels. Striped horse, grand (laughs) jewels. Your mom will definitely come. Your mom will definitely come. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you see, uh, the, we also SARS, there's a lot we need to know about SARS because oh, you see yeah. a lot of people who, famous or not famous, they get into trouble with SARS because of lack of knowledge. True. Uh, some of them are relying on their accountants to, mm. to do the work for them, but mm. we should have a general knowledge about that one. That's actually a great that's, idea. That's a good one. Someone yeah. SARS. from SARS. Just about SARS yeah. and tax. Yeah. Because everybody... Telling, telling yeah, us the different... That's a great idea, but no one's going to watch that shit. Okay. No, they yeah. will, because... Me, but who, who, who's watching the SARS information, episode here? Information is hey, crucial. <laughs> hey, SARS, I'm watching... I'm it's watching. people who are making money. I'm watching SARS. <laughs> I'm watching the SARS one. It's SARS. <laughs> right. Yes, Any yes. more questions? Yes. Oh, Spiwe, yes. you didn't ask. Do you have a question for Mac Mama? No. no. So no. are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, no more yeah, questions. Mom asked, yeah, you know that. Like, let, let, no, my no, mom okay. likes you, bro. My mom likes you. My mom always said, are you okay? So I'm like, Ma, I'm You're good. very I'm smart. Good. He's Thank smart, man. No? Very, very smart. Well, do you well like, articulated. Who do you prefer, Len or So Benduka? <gasps> so why? Uh, I like his uh, uh, his intelligence. He's very smart. Eh? Mm. I'm okay, man. Come on. Yeah, and the way he speaks, he articulates very well. Fucked up, eh? <laughs> and yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Ah. yeah. So what else? Um, the guys are asking for, to play a smash or pass. With who? With your mama. With your mama. <laughs> you need to come on the yoga. Yeah, it's coming when, okay. when we're done. When we're done. All right, cool. Let's do smash or pass. Let's go. Let's go. Well, quick one. Has Mac ever had like industry friends that you warned him against? No, he's he's got... Uh, Don't lie. Which ones? More flavor. Yeah, I know the story. More no, flavor. <laughs> no, no, it was It wasn't more of don't be his friend. It was more because you guys were no longer like... No, no, no. But when I first brought him to Parktown, what did you say? As soon as he left. I don't remember. It reminded me. Okay, okay. Remind us. So uh, 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 I just started at YFM. So I'm doing the urban music news on Mo's show. Mm-hmm. So we ended up going to Parktown. I'm like, hey, this is my friend Mo. Boom, 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 boom. As soon as and he leaves. for the first time. First time. Meets my mom. Apartment Yeah. Now. In Park Town. As soon as he leaves, he's like, hey, there's a bad energy I'm feeling about this guy. I think, this is exactly what she said. I think when his career goes down, yours will go up. Well, I remember saying that. Wow. <laughs> Lo and behold. Prophecy. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, it's gone down. It hasn't gone down. It hasn't gone down. It hasn't gone down. You're at a different level, yeah. Yeah, like you're your own yeah but for the sake of the level. podcast, I need to come on. Uh, uh, we, you not won, even no. for the sake. <laughs> we are no, being honest won, here. It's not for the sake of the podcast. We are being honest. Yes, I remember saying that. But you guys didn't get along very for a long time. Yeah, after I got fired, yeah. Okay. Do you remember cool what made now. you say that? Because cool. after he, he got fired much later, so you must have seen something. No, it's just this intuition. I don't know whether it's... mom's intuition. Yeah, it just comes over me and then I tell him. I always, I always... Like now, I told him the day I had the same thing and it came very strongly on me. I, I, I even called him, then I felt better because if I don't talk, I, I feel like I'm getting sick. So I called him, I said, son, I'm seeing you interviewing somebody big. I don't know who it is, wow. but I don't know when it's going to happen, but you're going to interview somebody very big. Mm. 
and then I, I said, I'm telling you now before it happens because I don't want to say it when, after it, had, it has happened. Yes, yes, yes. It yes, looks yes. like, no, you're not, you're, you're not serious then. Yeah, yeah. So I, things like that happen sometimes. I just have that overwhelming feeling. And then I tell him, when I tell him, I feel better. If I don't tell him, I'll, then it will come like a dream. Then it means I must tell him. So many things in life I've told him. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, hmm. that's crazy. Man, it's beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. Well, how come you don't drink or smoke or anything? I tried drinking, but uh, you know, your first experience, if it wasn't good, there's no point going onwards. Yeah. Because I, I, I did it with my sister and she was I was a novice, so she didn't help me tell me you can't drink this Timing. and this. Mm. Uh, so we were drinking black label and I'm doing it for the first time. And then after black label, they had Sminoff. And then we were drinking Sminoff. And then I could feel my throat burning. And I'm like, what is so nice about this thing? <laughs> because my throat, my throat is now burning. And then the following day, I was sick. They had to take me to the doctor. And then the doctor said, I must no longer drink alcohol. And because of the experience was bad, I said, no, no more. But I, I really want to do drugs. But I think of you and... I Please don't do that now because I, you're my only child. If you do drugs, who, who am I going to lean on now? Mm. So I'd rather wait, wait wait until I die. Then I can blame it on yes. you. Yes. Then you can blame it on me. You can say because I miss my wow. mom. Because I you, miss you my both mom. So dark. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it, please, please. I don't even like the cigarette thing you're doing. Yeah, I know you don't like the cigarette. Yeah, but well, what can I the say? The drugs will be even worse. Yo, right? you'll kill me because you're the only child I have. Mm. So if I lose you to drugs, then what am I left with? Yo. That's why I've what never done. When did you start this. smoking? How did you find out? Was it still Yo, a nice? Uncle Fresh told me. Oh, oh yeah, it's the next little nigga. Oh. And then I said, what does he smoke? He said, oh, you didn't know. I said, how would I know? Because I don't drink with them. He said, no, he's been smoking for a long time. And then I asked him, do you really smoke? And I was like, ah, oh, no, ma, they're lying. <laughs> ah, no, ma, no. And then eventually he was like, oh, yeah, I do smoke only when I'm drinking. Now it's no longer when I'm drinking. Yes. 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 And every time he's smoking, I'm always calling him. Even on social media, when I see him, like in New York, he was smoking and I'm like, mm. why are you smoking? Mm. Yeah. Well, that happens. It's... I can tolerate the alcohol, but the smoke, cigarette, your lungs and everything, you know, you... But at least it's not drugs. You always say that at least it's not drugs. Yeah. But I, 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 I also true, asked him, true. will you tell me if you were t- taking drugs? Uh, he said, no. So how do I know he's not even taking that? Oh, yeah. you can say, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Do I look like You're getting too fat now. Maybe it's the... <laughs> 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 he's getting fat. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap oh, it up. Man. Last question, yeah? Oh. Aren't you doing Smash or Pass? Oh, sorry, Smash or Pass. Let's yes. go. Let's you have go. names. Yeah. yeah, we've got names. All right, cool. Um, so do not Smash or Pass works, no? So what, what does it mean? Would I smash this person or would I pass? pass. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, all right. Yes. Uh, Some of them I went... The old, the old version. This is the <laughs> yeah, yes, the oldies. Yes, yes. This is the golden oldies. Each group here, comma. Yes. I'll tell you if I don't know them, I will tell you. Then yeah. you I know you to... know them. Okay, <laughs> tell me. Jacob Zuma. Uh, who? Jacob Zuma. And? No, no, we just smash. Oh, you smash. I thought I've got to choose. No, no, no. no, no we just no. smash or pass, Jacob. That's a... No, I will pass. You will pass. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got a lot of, he's got many wives. Mm. So, uh, I don't want a polygamy. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. okay. You don't want to be a first wife? No, it's so painful to be the first because you always have to accept the other wives yes. as they come in. You only Thanks. enjoy you only enjoy it for a certain period. Once they start coming in, then you have to deal with the pain of and sharing. And sh- of sharing. Yeah. Maybe it's nice to be the last. Tabo <laughs> 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 Peggy? No. Oh. Uh, what do you say? Pass, ne? Yeah, pass. 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 Yeah, pass. Okay. Zero? Cupcake from a posa. I could think twice about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You'd love to lie on that bed. <laughs> I will. With a lot of that is Van Dyer, you know? yeah, 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 so we'll yeah. be speaking the same limo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, okay. Another one? Are you done? This is a president's edition. So, Who was the other president that was, uh, came? Motland. Khalema Motland. Yeah, I could smash Ooh. that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know you like Radio Fat Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love his shows yeah, also. We yeah. used to listen to them together in the in the morning when wow. I'm dropping. You know, my mom, uh, we used to love wrestling. I don't know if you guys liked wrestling growing up. Yeah. We're oh. big fans of wrestling. She still believes it's real. I can't convince her that it's fake. No, I don't think it's fake. Is oh, it fake? Uh, WWE. Okay, yeah. They practice the moves and yeah, yeah, predetermine the result. But they are doing it very well. Yeah, true. True, 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 true. Well. Why do not give it but the why do they get yeah. injured? Why do they bleed? Do they bleed now? But they back used to in bleed. Shawn Michaels used to bleed all the time. They used to bleed. They bleed. bleed. Back in days. Wow. Why? So why do they bleed? Just minor scratches. Oh, wow. But why do they bleed then? Yeah. Real injuries oh, yeah. 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 If you could say, say, if you could say some, some moves are fake, yes, I can agree, but not all. Yeah. Not all of it. Um, over overseas, you don't have anyone from overseas. You only Denzel Washington. I oh, that one. Obvious. That's uh, why it's very uh, sense. Yeah, that one. That's yeah. And that's hey cousins, you love this. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Undertaker. Undertaker. Just bring it home. No. <laughs> Let us have a challenge. <laughs> but anyway, in closing, Mum, uh, what do you want to be remembered as? As the woman who gave birth to you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and that's good enough, eh? Yeah, yeah that is. As the that woman is. who gave birth to you. Mm. Yeah, because that will never change. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't know the sacrifices you made for me to be where I am today. Can you just tell them a bit? From me uh, moving from Venda to my aunt to Joburg. We to should have Pakistan. started with this. No, let's end with it. Uh, but you've said it already. No, no, just say it in your words. Okay. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I, I fell pregnant when I was very young and I was still at, at metric, I think. So when I finished metric, I had to go for training, teacher's training. And then um, he was with my mom mm. at, in Venda. The, you, you went to the place, Pazima. Yeah, yeah, home, yeah, yeah. Home, yeah. So from there, so I was the one who always have to make decisions for him. So I said, because he's going to grade one, I want him to go and stay with my sister, my elder sister. So they had, I had to take him to my elder sister, which was very good with him. I, I used to feel jealous when I go to visit him. Every time the school closes, I'll go home to see him. So when I get to my sister's house, you find that my son is playing with my sister. Happy. Go, yeah, going on top, plating his hair. hair. And then he's just, oh, he just looks at me. He doesn't come more often I like I thought you were the helper. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll complain yeah, yeah, to my yeah. sister and I'm like, why doesn't he do the same to me? And yeah. then me and my sister will be like, because you don't stay with him. So then I started working. When I started working, I'm like, no, I have to take my son. And then I told the family that I want him to be with me in Joburg. And my mom didn't like it very much, but I said... I'll take him to better schools so that uh, I had good schools also because I went to boarding school, which was run by Christians like St. Saint, Saint Scholastic and whatever. So my mom agreed. And then I took him and then we didn't get along. He wanted to go back home. Then my mom was very angry that he's not happy with me. But it took a while for him to to settle down with me uh, very well. So eventually we got along very well. And then all his history. How rich was our, your father? Oh, my grandfather. My, my father was very rich because he had businesses here in Joburg. So it was in Naledi, Mirafi, and Shawela. So he, he used to run um, um, uh, shops at the stations, mm. at the railway stations. So he had a, an agreement with the railway where he was paying rent. So 
there was a wife, because he was a polygamist, he had about five wives. So there was one wife who stayed here. So then in Venda, he had one in Sibasa, and then he had another business in Jalele. You saw the place. Yeah. 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 So he also had another one at Amulima. So we lost that one of Amulima. I don't know how, because I was young, but eventually I just had nobody talking about it. Even today, I can't tell you what happened. And then the remaining ones are those two in Jalele, and, and, and um, he was very, he was very rich because he was the first uh, vendor to buy the Mercedes Benz, the black ones. The T, it was TJ something that yeah, wow. he was the first one to buy that one. Yeah, I'm always telling how he has like buffets. Yeah, you, you, you alone you. Mm. Yeah, he used to tell eat them about alone. the buffet. Tell them about. They're going alone. Wait, wait, wait. There was helpers. There was helpers. Every, every household has a helper. There was a helper here in Jobek. There was a helper in Padzima. Wow. There was a helper in and in Sibasa. So we, we never used to serve Here's them. the crazy thing. So all the helpers made the same food every Everywhere day. Everywhere they go. They but they didn't know if you'd come or not. Do you get me? <gasps> Yo. Do you get me? No, 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 no. You're getting it wrong. You're getting it wrong. This is how it works. So he will be in Jerel. He woke up in Jerel in the morning. He, he's, he had a bell. He will ring the bell and then the helper will go and, and make sure uh, and get the water for him to shave and blah, blah, blah. He had his special bathroom. We didn't share the bathroom with him. We only used that bathroom after he died. So he'll go and bath there and get out and get ready, come out in a suit. He was always in a suit. So he had his chair, the chair you took, because mm. I like that chair. It reminded me of him. He will sit there. Then uh, the helper, while he's showering, the helper will be busy making breakfast for him. So that would be jungle oats, um, uh, eggs, uh, raw tomato, onion. Um, there was no bacon because it's a Zion. It's a ZC, oh, yes. ZCC, don't eat bacon. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Then he, the lady will ring the bell to show that she's done. And then she goes and put it on the table. He, he, he fixed on that one alone. Not with the wife. And Damn. then when he's done, he rings the bell. The helper will go, take everything. Now run two. It's it's ox liver and uh, the white bread with no crust. And then with a little bit of gravy, and then you you re once the helper has put everything there, she will ring the bell. He comes and eats, and then she, he will ring a bell that is done, and then she goes and takes all the plates away, and then the third one will be the tea. Oh. This is breakfast. Yeah. So when what he's trying to say when you say they prepare and he doesn't come, it, it's not like that. So you know, you know, as a helper that he's here today. So which means once you are done with the breakfast, you must start preparing for the lunch. Yeah. Because he used to eat lunch. Tell us the lunch. The lunch will be um, a fillet, um, gravy, and soft porridge, and then also tea. So same process, and then. When he decides that now he's going to Sibasa or he's coming to Jobek, he doesn't tell anybody. So the helper will be busy preparing the food for in the evening. But only to find that he's, he's gone. He's going to sleep in chores. Yeah, he's gone. My he doesn't, he doesn't tell. He doesn't tell. Talk to no one. <laughs> he doesn't answer to no one. So we'll eat that because he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, yeah. Sure. So when he comes also, you, 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 oh, I forgot another part. You remember in general, you saw there's an orchard. There in the in behind the big house. I didn't see it. Didn't see a lot of trees there. Yeah. Matt didn't take us walking around. We just There's got there and we chilled and we chilled and went there. to go. It's we a big walk place. It's an orchard, and then you, it also crosses over to the other side. Mm. So if he's tired of sitting on the chair, he will walk around in the orchard. Wow. So at three o'clock, he needs to have his afternoon tea. Mm. No scones, nothing, just tea. So if you can't find him at the chair there, you have to go in the orchard and look for and him. The tea will find him. Yeah, <laughs> the tea will find him. <laughs> Wow, hey, there, there, was, there was one tree that he liked very much. Yeah. So you, you usually go and put everything there and then you'll have his tea and then you go, you go and take it when it's done. So when, he, when, we go to, when we go to see him, let's say he came to Njerere. So the kids that are there because he had five wives. So we'll all go and, and, and sit, um, and, and, you know, in Vendaria Rocha. Yeah. So we do that, all of us. I, I, I didn't understand why he does that. So if it's five of us, he will start by saying, who are you? 
who's your mother? Who, how are you related to this one? If you don't know that, if you don't know how you are related to this one, he didn't like it. So you have to go back and ask your mom. So every time we'll be doing the same thing. So I used to find it strange. Or he went to the orchard. There's blackheads on his on his, on his socks. So he would just lift his foot. Mm. Then we have to take out the blackheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My oh, nigga, so what are you saying? Ninety points. Sixties, right? Yeah, sixties, yeah. bro. Sixties even. Now it's about sixty-eight, so it was in the seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Yeah. I said that now. So I, my so, dad lived. Large. Dude, dude, my food is not large. Large. Do do. My my food. Do do's got nails. Do do guys. What is that? <laughs> no, but in closing, mom, just want to say love you long time. Hated. Thank you for coming, man. I hate Thank you, you sometimes. <laughs> That's why it's a food sack. <laughs> but what will so make love, you happy? Man. What makes you happy, though? I just. Um, I'm usually happy. I don't. I'm, I'm usually happy. Not to say I don't get angry, but I usually. I'm usually happy. Um, when my son is in a good place, I feel happy. When he's stressed, I don't like it because now he's got too much responsibilities. So it worries me when he's not happy. So um, uh, even the family members, when they're everybody is happy, that makes me happy also. Oh. Yeah. And the friends that are very close to me. So now I've added the podcast. And the yoga you love. Oh, oh yes. yes, the yoga. Yeah. 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 I love yoga. yoga. I did Abuse. that also in the in the family outing. <laughs> yeah, I, everybody was doing yoga. Uh, everybody yeah. was doing yes. yoga. So too much time on it. <laughs> too much time on it. So I she did... uh, asked us to do yoga as well, which we're going to play now. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll do the yoga. It, why did you want us to do yoga, Ven? It's something that I love doing. So I, I imagined seeing you guys with your legs up and all those moves. I imagined you guys doing it. So I also wanted you to have an experience of how nice yoga mm. is. Because yeah, we had fun. when we had I fun. talk about it and I say, let's do it, Mageva will be like, ah, ma, ma, this is your gym thing. So now I'm happy. He, you know what he did after that? He did a video with his daughter. They were doing yoga to do it ah, together. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then he sent me a video with him and Maka too. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's dangerous. Hey, yoga. It's she, wants do, she wants to do it once a month. Ne? And then you know they do those poses where they start going like this. And then you are behind Fair Check, like, hey, Fair Check, which one is this one? Hey, hey, hey. Hey man, we are here podcasting. Oh, Cheers. Bye. <laughs>